Hello video, welcome back to the show. I've got my friend Eddie here and uh, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, yeah has, it been, been, has it been a year? Close to almost, almost a year. Um, I, uh, Did you leave Dimageddy? Yeah, here, happy hour, happy hour. I mean, the drinking was getting to me. I stayed there seven months. Wow, Yeah. that's why I haven't seen you. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to go back here, but I gave up my apartment here. So I, the landlord was a real good friend of mine. So he says, oh, the guy will be gone in six months, you know, so you can come back here. I said, okay. So I decided to stay up there with the same rent. Yeah. Well, I was paying 7,500 in Valencia. Mm. And I'm paying 8,500 now, mm. same apartment. But he redid the um, cabinets, he redid everything. That's still a great price, man. For, you yeah. think of what it costs for yeah, America, cool. you know? Yeah. It's cool, Valencia, it's cool, it's gated. Yeah. yeah. It's, a condo. it's a condo, mm. it's gated, it's nice. Uh, all brand new, mm. brand new furniture, I have the cabinets work, everything. Mm. So I, I like it there. I, Did you have to sign a year lease or? No. No? Month to month. Wow. Month to month. And what, just first month's uh, deposit or, sa or security or what? Yeah, I paid a month's deposit mm -hmm. right, and first month's rent. Okay. Wow, that's a great deal. Mm. Yeah, so I pay that. Um, the electricity bill's cheaper because up in Valencia, my average electric, I mean up in uh, Angeles, my average electric bill was like, 4500 to 5500 a month, that's about uh, $90. That's a lot. Uh, over there. I thought you were in a hotel. Yeah, well the hotel was a dormitel. Oh. It's a hotel, but if you can rent it by the day. Yeah. But if you rent it by the month, you have to, there's an electric meter oh, okay. inside the room and, and they'll charge the electricity separate. Mm. Right, so um, that's a little bit deceiving there, but it's their electricity, my electricity out there is. And, um, and I, but I came back down here. The electric bill here was like, first month here was nine hundred dollars, nine hundred pesos, a thousand pesos. Yeah. Oh. So that's uh, quite a change there. Mm. So I, I'm happy here. I now I'm trying to save more money here. I'm going to be going to uh, every month travel. Where are you going to go next? I want to go to Sikihoa. There's a Sikihoa at the Bohol. Right there, we can see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Sikihoa there. Yeah, there yeah, is, sure yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's close. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So turn it, you're looking at at Sikihoa. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's cool, man. Mm. Look at that. I thought it was part of Cebu or something. It's farther than it looks, you know. I don't know how many miles it is, but. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it'll cool. It'll take a while to get there on a boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um,. Your budget's working out okay. You're still on thirteen hundred dollars a month, but that's going to be going up soon, isn't it? It went up now because I I, I got a, uh, I'm going to be getting monetized with YouTube, and also my uh, my military disability kicked in. Mm -hmm. So before I talked about it, how yeah. they got ten percent and twenty percent, and I didn't get anything, and then, and then I kept getting denied because of my injury, where I was in the, in. The, in the military, I, I fell quite a bit and I busted my leg, the tibia and the fibula went apart, blood gushing, took oh, wow. me to the hospital. And um, I, I was stationed there at Fort Pendleton uh, for a while in San Diego. It's nice there, And uh, when I got out, they told me they were gonna give me a disability for life. Hmm. And, uh, but it was this tiny amount though, was it? How much was it a month to oh, work out to? It was such a long time ago. It was either 10 or 20% that they offered, but it was for life. It was something, it was nothing. But when you're a kid, yeah, you know, I said, well, oh, So what are you going to get now? Out. How much are you getting now? Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think, I think it's going to be about $1,000. $1,000 a month? Yeah. Wow. So. We'll that's a big jump yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, that's huge. They, they said it was pre-existing condition, but hmm. back then they were denying everybody. But here, hmm. I met some guys that, um, that, uh, that fought for me. Uh, they have a team of lawyers and stuff, and, and they fought for me, and, and they got it. And oh, that's they, great. They arranged that for me. So and, when will that start kicking in? Uh, soon, I hope. Hmm. You know? It like doubles, almost doubles your monthly income, huh? Yeah, more, more savings. You know, wow, so that's that, great. So I'm gonna try to live on maybe 1,800. No, that should be easy. Uh, live on 1,800 and, and travel. And hmm. rest. So uh, hmm. hope to do that. Um, but uh, my friend who, who, who hooked me up and stuff, the, the company, they're going to be uh, coming down here. They're going to be opening up an office soon. Oh, really? Yeah. We don't know where, but uh, we will. Um, we'll have to interview them, you yeah. know, so they can yeah, help yeah, other yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, they'll be coming down here. 
opening up an office soon. Mm. I'm trying to get them to open 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 up an office near JR. Mm -hmm. RJ. Yeah, uh, JR. So, yeah, I know those guys. So I've yeah. interviewed them. The I'm hoping to open up next to that way when they get their visas, they can talk to them, see if they qualify. I like to see all those places move to the mall. I don't like that. I never liked that location where immigration is and yeah. all that stuff. They I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's, yeah. like it. it's uh, very Filipino ish. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's you know, low profile. I like it there. I like it. I like it. I like, I like the service, JLC, for a thousand pesos, you get you just drop off your, your passport, and boom, it gets it done. Yeah, they're but great. now there's another place right across the hall from JR. Yeah. It's 500 pesos. Oh, competition. So they just opened up, you know, so they. Yeah, I think there's three of them. It's crib, crib mentality. Yeah, you see somebody is successful. It's the way it is here in the Philippines. Somebody opens a, a fruit stand selling oranges and bananas, somebody will open another one right next to you. Selling oranges and that. bananas. They couldn't open up somewhere else with it. Or know, something new. They always copy. This guy's business. They were going right for his clientele. Yeah. I, you know, I, you know, I told him to uh, go by Bogart, all the expats over there. Hmm. Over there. So you're on a tourist visa, right? Yep. Now they changed it. How they changed it? Before it was every six months. Yeah. Now it's every two months. Okay. That's what I always did anyway. It was two months. I heard you can do it online now, though. Say Somebody it's really easy. Yeah, it's supposed to be really that. easy. People at, uh, at the driving bureau told me that. Yeah, I heard it's really yeah, easy. I've been here two years with California driver's license. I got to turn it off. I've been illegal, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I did that too. I was on my Kentucky, expired Kentucky license for like yeah. three or four years until yeah. I finally was able to, you know, go to LTO and get it all worked out and get a, a regular driver's license. But once you do, at least it's good for five or ten years. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you got any plans to uh, go back to America and visit family or anything? or? Yes, I do. I plan to uh, visit them. Uh, I gotta fix my uh, California driver's license. Yeah. My California driver's license is going to get uh, expired in the next few months. I have to fix that. Um, I want to see my grandchildren really bad. Mm. And of course, I lost my uh, my debit card expired, you know, and my credit card, all that's gone. So I have to go back down there to. We do that now because to get a, a money transfer from from uh, Zoom or, or Western Union, it seems that I don't have a debit card. It takes six days to transfer. Hmm. So if, once I get my Social Security, I ask for the money. It takes six days now, four to six working days. Well, your bank can't send you another credit card or debit card. Uh, I just keep what thinking. Do you have? What bank do you have? Fargo. I keep thinking I'm going to go over there. Well, you know, my bank, uh, PNC, my card expired, and uh, they sent me one. Um, oh, no, I had it. It was a fraudulent charge that was on there, and they, they canceled the card. And so I, my card wasn't working. So anyway, uh, my bank, PNC, sent me FedEx a new card. The bank sent you FedEx? Yeah. And also Charles Schwab will do the same thing, send you a brand new card. So you give them an address here and talk to your bank, and they should send it to you. How, how do you figure giving them an address here? It's so hard to give somebody an address. Um, yes. Down by the road, down by the road, turn left. Oh, you the, ask your uh, landlord. Uh, ask your turn landlord. Turn left at the uh, yeah. at the Eggman. And yeah. go here. You gotta ask your your landlord, or you go to. Uh, you be in Valencia. The easiest thing is just go to the post office there and get a PO box. Have it sent to the post office in Valencia. I've gotten mail there before when I lived up there. Smart. You know, you can do Smart that. Move. Good move. Yeah. Or if you got a family and friends, you know, that they can right. send it to their house. I like the post office box. Good move. Yeah. yeah. But if you got Very family good. or friends, you know. Uh, at home, they can have it sent to them and they can put it in an envelope and send it FedEx, you know, to you and it'll get here in a few days or they can send it regular mail and it'll get here like a month, but right. uh, FedEx will get here, but the thing is it's going to cost about a hundred bucks. Yeah. FedEx is expensive even for an envelope, you know, but we'll get here. I've gotten several FedExes. Oh, so what, the bank will send it to you FedEx, but they'll charge you? No, no, that, my bank didn't charge me anything. You know, I don't okay. know what your bank would do. My, my bank sent it for free. I was surprised. Didn't charge me nothing. I think Charles Schwab doesn't charge either, but I don't know about Wells Fargo. But there's different things you can do. A lot of guys are using what's called TransferWise. They tra they transfer the money from their bank to TransferWise. Then you can just go several places yeah. here in the Philippines and pick it up. That's what I'm doing now with, yeah. with uh, Zoom or West, Wells Fargo. Yeah. I mean, uh, Zoom or Western Union. Western Union is too expensive. They rip you off. Not really. No. Not no See, more. No? It's $3.99. But you have to look at the exchange rate, make sure the exchange rate is because they, the they, they, they might rip that's off the exchange rate. That's where they stick rate. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's where all they stick. of them rip it off the exchange rate. Yeah. Hmm. Almost all of them. That's how they make their money. Yeah. 
$399. The fee's $399. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking you might go back, where would you go back to if you went back to visit? Well, I would go to California for a week, settle my problems with my bank and, and, and other things there, mm -hmm. my driver's license, um, and then go to my son's house in uh, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, go to my sister's down in Florida. I got two sons in uh, New Jersey. Um, a lot of traveling. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to go there. Mm. I don't think, think since the last interview I did, they, get, they got upset at me. Mm. Yeah, they, they, they didn't like me mentioning them. And, mm. Yeah, so. Mm. Yeah. So, how long have you been in the Philippines now? Going on two years. Wow, two years. Mm. Yeah, I miss you. You've only been here a few weeks. Man, I love it here. Mm. I love it. I, I, I missed it. I, I miss. I miss home every day. I, you know, sometimes I lay back and I cry. Mm. Tears come out and think of my kids. You know, yeah. my grandchildren. When I watch them on, on video. Yeah, it breaks my heart, man. It really breaks my heart. Mm. But uh, yeah, my blood pressure's down. My weight's down. Heck, you see how fat I was before. Yeah. Right. My weight's down. Um, I know guys have gotten off almost all their medication, especially if it's heart or blood pressure stuff. My, like my, my blood sugar is, is normal. Yeah. My blood sugar was like when I, when I got here it was like nine point something. Now it's six point three. Huh. So wow. that's at the very end of normal, but yeah. it's, you know, so that's great there. Hmm. So I, I still um, I, I still take uh, medication for my uh, dementia. Hmm. You know, I know you, you know I, I don't think I, you knew that, right? No. Yeah, I'm out of the clouds now, dementia. <laughs> it's, uh, I keep forgetting. Well, how, how have you found uh, the, the price of medications here in the Philippines as opposed to America? Like for me... It's not cheaper. Well, some it, things are cheaper, some things are more. Yeah, like lisinopril was, was the blood pressure medicine I was well, on. That stuff there is real cheap for me. Yeah, Walmart. Well, Walmart, Walmart in America, I was buying three months supply for $12. Here, I was at the pharmacy yesterday, and a three months supply was like over 100 U.S. For lisinopril, which is a very, very common blood pressure medicine. Like, so, I don't quite know my medicine to my. I know I got to take my formin, lisinopril, at uh, what's that? Um, Where do you buy them at? I get them from the U.S. I, I, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I get them from the U.S. There. Um, and then who's they sent them to you? I had I stocked up on it. Oh, you stocked up yeah, on it. Now I think it's kind of expired. Doesn't matter if it expired. That's one of the reasons I'm going back down. Take them anyway. Yeah. yeah I, I came out, you know, in metformin. I've been taking that, but I, don't, I stopped taking it. The Cetaphil, I take that a little bit. Uh, the the, the, the Cetaphil is for the blood pressure, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and adverse adverses for cholesterol, right? I don't know. I don't take that. I'm taking that. And uh, I'm taking that. So now I, uh, I I stopped taking all stuff altogether. Hmm. I take some. Uh, uh, some medication they gave me for uh, 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 depression and, and, uh, and dementia. Mm. Uh, a lot of coconut oil. Mm. I, you know, I have one of those lagers that told me to take coconut oil, yeah. and that works a lot. And exercise. Mm. So that helps a lot. So, so, how do you feel physically as compared to when you first got here? Just, just get on the scooter. Yeah. Moving the scooter, just picking the leg. Yeah. Every time you get on off the scooter. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's exercise. Yeah. You're just moving around the scooter. You turn this way. You turn that with your body. Your, your core muscles going this way. That. I uh was eating the same. Mm. I've been losing weight steadily. 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 Now, I went to Angela. I was down. I got down to about uh, ninety. F I say I got down to nine. We wanted to get down to nine. I got down. To, 94 sometimes 92 average up on and off like that with the weight depends how much stuff i got in my system yeah you mean kilos or what uh, kilos yeah. yeah okay and then i went to angela city and i went up to 102 mm. kilos so now i'm dieting again so mm. so i'm down to 100 now 101 now mm. so it's a it's, it's a you know i'm obese my family's obese you know? you're not it's, obese it's, it's, it's a it's, I know obese. You're not obese. Well, it's a big bone. You know, my, my family's that way, and, and um, it's a ever-ending uh, struggle. Mm, yeah. You know, anybody who says difference, uh, mm. they're full of shit. I'm mm. sorry. Excuse me. Yeah. They're full of beep. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But um, 
Yeah. So how do you find the social life here? You know, you got a girlfriend now and everything, and that's all yeah. good. And uh, you got a lot of friends, or? Uh, well, not as girlfriends. She's, she's I my mean, camera friend. girl. Yeah. But she, she's real nice. Um, um, I have friends here. I, not really. Mm. Uh, I, I kind you of meet uh, a lot of people. Or? I meet a lot of people. A lot of people. I I, I love the locals. I uh, the foreigners are there. They're okay, but uh, they seem to get tired of you quick. Mm -hmm. I can see why they get tired of me quick. I'm pretty flamboyant. I'm pretty uh, out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just you know that's me. You know I can't say I can't change. I'm not gonna change for nobody. Mm -hmm. And. Um, they uh, they're like uh, fair weather friends, you know. Yeah. I got I, I, I got a, a couple of friends here that, that are real nice, you know. Uh, uh, like you know, it's uh, I'm pretty, there's a couple more I'm trying to find, uh, Ali and, and Gunny. Yeah, well, Ali lives up in Valencia. You know, they're they they're uh, they're uh, how you say both of them like like to quote. Raggedy Ann and Andy. <clears throat> Paper, on Watson, yeah. Paper flowers. Ollie's on Facebook. Just send him a message on Facebook, you know. I heard from him this morning, as a matter of fact. Just on the alley? Ollie, yeah, he's on Facebook. Are you sure I won't get Muhammad Ali's family or something? No. I just, you know, just Ali, he's on Facebook, okay. you know. Send him a friend request. Right, I will. I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that there. Hmm. But, uh, but Mark, this, this spread you got here, it's so tranquil. Yeah. So, so nice, man. Guys, if you want to see a nice place, you got to visit <laughs> right, Mark. <laughs> visit Mark and look for his place. If you don't want to visit Mark, just sneak on. <laughs> Go to the beaches, sneak. <laughs> yeah, we're fortunate. We've got a really nice beach here, you know. And there's some good snorkeling out there, too. I was out yeah. there yesterday with my friends, and a great big turtle came up, you know, about you know 10 yards from us. Wow, 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 and wow. And I don't wow. see a lot of turtles out there. There's a lot more down towards Salwan and Zambagita, but out here I haven't I seen that what, many. The thing I hate about the beaches in in in, in Negros, with the exception of Darwin Beach, yeah. the, the the public yeah. the public Darwin Beach, yeah. the exception of that is the rocks. Yeah, we don't have that here. I mean, I was over at oh, you know, yeah. I, I was over at uh, Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, yeah, I was there. And I slipped and I fell, and a rock hit my chest. Oh. Man, I think I cracked a rib or something. I was in pain, man. So yeah, much I went pain. snorkeling there, and the problem is, unless it's high tide, because of the way the coral and the rocks are, you can't get out into the ocean. There's too many rocks and, you know, and too much they, coral. They got so many sea urchins over there. Yeah, yeah. Who plays a sea urchin? You got to wear big shoes, or else yeah. you're, you're in trouble. Yeah, it's the same problem down in uh, in Darwin here at the Marine Sanctuary. It's really nice if you're there high enough tide, you can get out past the coral yeah, yeah. where all the cool stuff is. You see, right here, we've just got smooth sand. Like it's high tide right now. We got smooth sand, and you can see the color change out there. That's all white sand out there. And when it's when it's low tide, you can go out 200 yards and be in like two feet of crystal clear water. Like a, and it's nice and warm, you know. No like rocks a, or nothing. No, we just sit out there. We, we just Amazing. sit out there. We got these floats that we go on, and you go out farther. We just we go really far out there. Sometimes we'll just drift all the way down to the pier and then swim back. But it's really really nice out there. I'm out there every day, every day. I've been out there at night. I've been out there when there's a storm. Yeah, I, I like the beaches over at Bintayan Island. I've never been there. Oh, you gotta go. Yeah. Just the people are so nice. Mm -hmm. You just drive around there, it's, it's really laid back, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I've been there. Um, what else get it? So, uh, my, uh, my brother's movie. Mm. Which uh, brother is this? Is this the brother? The older one that just passed. Okay. Uh, 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 he was like a. Uh, How old was he? 72, he passed. What him. happened? I just old age. He was in his chair. He died. Man. Mm. And he mm. was uh, he, he abused uh, social drugs in the eighties and like everybody else. Did. Yeah. And I, he just kept going in the eighties and nineties. He was very rich. He, mm. Like cocaine. Mm. Stuff like that. He moved uh, to Spain. I followed. He went and went to Panama. Mm. And then he passed. And he was staying up all night in his chair. He woke up the next morning. He passed. I've, I've talked to quite a few guys, older guys, but most of them ended up dying where they actually sleep in like a lazy boy chair. They don't go to bed. That's how you die. In the and they die in the chair. lazy boy chair. Yeah. That lazy boy chair. I said, I don't know what it is, but 
Mm. So yeah, he was in a lazy boy. He died sitting mm. down. Mm. And uh, mm. anyway, the, the movie is uh, it's still in production. Uh, it's it's uh, DiCaprio's the producer. His uh, his company that's uh, the distributors Paramount. The lead actor is Benicio de Toro. Mm. This is a movie about your brother's life, or about just about, about his. It's about the Cuban mob, and there was two outfits in New York. Yeah. There was a corporation. There was a company. Mm -hmm. At first, there were. First of all, they were both friends. Yeah. And it was like four or five of them were friends, and they started and they went down to Miami, and in Miami they decided to pull pull their monies together mm -hmm. and form a corporation. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, my brother has seen the painting, the people there, he, he, he couldn't, my brother was gifted, mm -hmm. uh, convincing people. Yeah, gifted the gab. He was like Donald Trump Cuban style. Okay. <laughs> right? He would convince people, uh, business-wise, it's bad, mm -hmm. and, uh, and him and, and Butler were like real good friends, and they were down there. They were forming a corporation, then a bunch of other people, so like four or five guys, the main guys, then a bunch of other people mm. came in, they wanted to associate themselves, and my brother said, so many people. So he says, no, nah, I'm going to go on my own. Mm. So he went on his, his own. And, uh, so what did the corporation do? Uh, numbers. Oh, numbers. Okay. Just, just like the little numbers. Uh, illegal one. Yeah. Illegal, right? But it was illegal. It was based on the... Um, the numbers game, yeah. The, uh, the amount of money handled on the racetracks. Okay. And, um, don't they have numbers here in the Philippines? They see a little yeah. yellow boost. Yeah, like yeah, you ever, yeah, yeah. They, I don't they know got, anything they about. Got one them. sponsored by the state, another one sponsored by uh, the uh, the Negros government. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I the, just see the, them everywhere. The old, the old governor ran it, mm -hmm. and then and then the new governor came in, and for two weeks they closed that down. Oh. And that's when the new governor got killed. Oh. Okay. What happened? I don't know. But I'm just telling you facts. The time hmm. period. Huh, didn't and know now, that. But the old governor's wife now runs the numbers there. The so this there. movie's going to be about the kind of the numbers racket in, in where, New York. Yeah. In New York, yeah. In, in, in New York City, how the Cubans started this, uh, and then. How many numbers are there, by the way? How many do you pick? How many numbers do you pick? Like you know, four or five numbers. Well, it's, it's, well, you can pick one number. You can pick two number. One number is single action. I mean, how many digits? Yeah, one digit is okay. single action. Okay. That will pay you eight to one, yeah. or nine to one, depending on the bank. Uh, Bolita will pay you 64 to 1. Wow. You have your straights, they'll pay you 600 or 650 to 1. Uh, then you have your, your your four, that will pay you two or three thousand to 1. Mm. Four numbers. Um, you had that there. Um, I think my brother grew really huge, really huge. He had over a dollar, he became the biggest mm. corporation. The whole movie is about the corporation. But uh, my, my brother's benched in it and stuff like that, and I don't know if they're going to make another one about my brother or not, but... Uh, well, this is organized crime, so was there violence involved, too, or...? No, my brother, like I said, Donald Trump, my brother's all... Yeah. ...convinced him, well... Blah, blah, blah. Well, what, how much of the, what percentage of the money that come in does the uh, the corporation get to keep? Is it 50% or more, or how much? The corporation, I don't know much about the corporation. I know my brother's stuff. Uh, the corporation has so many partners. I think they uh, had, um, depending on the percentage of the partner, mm. uh, the percentage of the partner that they have there, and, and they'll give them so yeah. much. Well, it was my brother's business, plain and simple, he had his stores, mm -hmm. and his main partner had his stores, then other people, like they will come to my print shop, mm -hmm. and they want to talk to my brother, I hook up meetings with my brother and them, mm -hmm. and they'll join my brother's operation. That's right. Those started growing like crazy. So they have, like, say, a dry cleaner or something, and they can also, on the side, be selling yeah. numbers. Yeah. Yeah. People can go in and place a bet. Yeah. Yeah. Right, legitimate yeah. businesses. So when you like, say like stores, example, I, I found many stores. My brother, I would go into uh, a business, yeah. and I would tell him, "Listen, now, how much money you pay rent here?" And the location was good. Yeah. The good thing is about the numbers. The location is the, the good location is the poor neighborhoods. Yeah. The poorer the neighborhood, the better the numbers because the more need people need to bet a penny yeah where else can you bet one penny and get six dollars wow you know so people they, they take a penny to nothing if i put it put in a number and yeah you know and they won't bet a bet they'll pay a hundred yeah you know, hundreds of pennies but um hmm. 
that and um, I, I'm sorry, I lost track, man. No, that's right. That's all we we're talking about. That, that how much they make. Oh yeah, uh, and my brother, uh, his people were. Um, he paid them fifty percent of the profit. Oh. So my brother was very legit with the people. He he would give them like somebody else. Uh, uh, let's say somebody else already has a number store, mm -hmm. and they're collecting let's say ten thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. And the corporation, what they'll do is give them, right, 25% up front. Wow. But they have to pay all their bills. Salaries, electricity, yeah. everything, on that 25%. Right. And that 25%, they had to pay that. Where my brother says, no, nah, don't worry about it. Um, we'll pay all the bills and everything, mm. and we'll give you 50% of the profit. Wow. So, uh, you can see why they would definitely want to do that, you know? So, uh, and probably if you get caught, it's a slap on the wrist anyway, right? It's like not, not going to go yeah, to prison for it. No, the, the employees own their own businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother has his employees as well. But most, of the, most of the boliteros, mm -hmm. that's the guys who own the store and yeah. they did numbers on the side, Yeah, they would pay their salaries, their rent, their electricity, because they have a business, pays the stuff in there, it's included. Mm -hmm. And, and at, the end, at the end of the month, the store owner knows exactly what the profit margin is because mm. uh, the pickup man comes, collects the money. Mm. Well, the pickup man yeah. pays the hits the, the next day or the same day. Mm. Always, always one day, no more. My mm. uh, brother paid quick. That was the secret of his, his success. And um, and uh, started to grow. Mm. People coming to us, we started growing. So how's it end up being a movie? Like who? Uh like, and, and since uh, your brother's they, passed they, away, who's going to get the money for the book. movie? Well, my brother wasn't going to get the money for it. No one? It's not my brother's movie at all. Okay. The, uh, the money goes to... Uh, uh, well, somebody wrote a book about the it? The guy who wrote the book, I forgot his name, but he wrote the book. Uh, I, I met him on the street. What was the name of the book? Uh, the Corporation. The Corporation, the okay. The Cuban Mafia Tales, man. Hmm. And, uh, and DiCaprio bought the movie rates. Okay, cool. Yeah, and... Um, they're going to come out with it in pre-production. Hmm. The Capra got so many movies. Yeah. He's got hundreds of movies, to, you know, so it's on the back burner. I don't know. If there's a big demand now with like cable TV and streaming. Like, you know, there's a real demand yeah. for content. Yeah, yeah. So, but, you know, the books, they're actually they're, making a lot more movies and TV shows now than they did, say, 30 years ago. Yeah, but Paramount already wants to distribute it. Hmm. Wow. And the whole thing is basically on, I don't know, they're going to write the script. Or, I don't know what's, I don't know. It's, Mm. Uh, above my level yeah, it's of understanding. Interesting, yeah, interesting. Mm. That's the truth there. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool. And so you see, you have, a, you have another brother that's alive. No, he's dead too. How old was he? Fifty-six. He died at fifty-six. What happened to him? Smoker. Oh, smoker. Yeah, that'll do it. Smoker, smoker. Mm. Mm. So sad. Mm. So sad. No. So you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, make the most of every single day. You really you have to live in the moment, and make the most of every day, because. Even guys I know, they're super fit. I know guys that are super fit that dropped dead or had an accident or whatever. So you just have you have to make the most of every day. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about my brother. Yeah, you have to make make the most of every day. Mm. You, you know, if I can say anything, guys, if you have a family member yeah. or a real good friend that you have a beef with, or your brother, like me, my brother Tony, mm. I always had beef since a little kid. It was a competition kind of thing. Mm. And I always fight with him. Mm. Fight, fight, fight. But when he got sick, he got really close to me, and then we were talking and stuff like that. I started noticing how much he meant to me, man. Mm. I mean, he, Tony would stick up for me, he would fight my battles. I mean, I mean, we, we lived with the Irish and the Italians in Washington Heights, in Wade, Washington Heights, New York. Mm. I went to the same school as, well, after, after uh, uh, Jabbar, back then it was, was uh, uh, Blue Alcinda, mm. went to school, St. Jude's School. And, and then uh, there was a crowd called Dynamics, the Irish brother. It, it, see, back then it wasn't gangs with knives or fights, it was just, Fist fights and football games and you know, yeah, football games and stickball. You play out in the street. Your mother's outside in the window, mm -hmm. like the old thing. Kiki Tony, that you yell out this like that. And uh, mm -hmm. 
and, and uh, uh, the worst regrets in life is not fixing the problems you have today. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Especially with family. Yeah, that's good okay? advice. It's family because the, he, he died. Ooh. He died, uh, gosh, 14, 13 years ago. Mm. And it's that one day I, 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 I sit there, I, I pray for him. Mm. I pray for his forgiveness. Mm. You know, I, I pray to God to forgive him for mm. our fights and all that life. Mm. And uh, mm. it's, it's hard, guys. Yeah. And, and no, no bola bola. In mm. Philippines, bola means BS. Yeah. <laughs> So do you have any in life, do you have, uh, if there's some you could go back in time and change, I'm assuming that's one of them, go back and oh, change things yeah. with that, but anything else that you could go to your younger self and give yourself some advice, you know, about uh, what to do in the future and stuff like that, things you wish you knew then that you know now? I wish I knew I was dyslexic before it happened. Hmm. I discovered I was the dyslexic in sixth grade with Sister Helen. Hmm. She was a nun in my military school. I was going to a seminary military school. Believe it or not, in New York they had a school for children from sixth grade to high school to study to become priest at the same time be military. Really? <laughs> wow. No kidding. I guess the military was to discipline the kids and and the why did you go? Who who decided to send you there? Your mom and dad or what? Well, I got left back second and third grade. Mm-hmm. They just assumed I was lazy and just didn't want to learn anything. Mm. I would hang out outside with my friends and mm. and uh, I just couldn't uh, focus. Focus yeah. to reading wise. And then I, 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 Sister Helen taught me that how to read with dyslexia, little bit, little books she found and stuff like that. But it wasn't until um, I got in my fifties I discovered a program by the name of uh, dyslexia. It's a Dutch guy by the name of Christian. Mm. He made this program with the type, the, the fonts, a three-dimensional and the way they're shaped. And the, uh, he has a, a 22 yellow on the back and some kind of blue that it works with the brain. Interesting. And uh, that there, I started doing that. And then uh, that motivated me to write children's books with my wife, then wife. Um, uh, on uh, on uh, it's called dyslexic friendly books. Mm. They aren't Facebook there, but I stopped doing them. Well, they're made, but just got pricey. Mm. And now it's just uh, books based on one sound, one book. Mm. So if you want it's they're free. Go on dyslexic friendly books, and mm. it's not a, it's a, it's on Facebook only. It's not I'm not even my, I just. Leave it there. I don't even. I know with some people are dyslexic. Uh, for example, if you're looking at the alphabet, and you look at a little d or a small b. Right. It looks the same. You don't see the difference. Well, it's, you know. It's different forms of dyslexia. Yeah. Mine was with anxiety and 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 I couldn't focus on one word reading. I would focus on a word and I go to the next. You know, I won't. Mm -hmm. Focus yeah. on, the, on, the, on the letters, and, and, and some some letters were very difficult. Those yeah. the B and the D and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, mm. but um, yeah, mm. the the I and the L's. You know, mm. so that you know. Yeah. Other than that, um, yeah. So where do you see yourself the next five years from now? If I'm not dead, mm. because age, yeah. the family dies young. But then again, I'm getting healthy, guys. I'm getting healthy. Hmm. Um, five years from now, I see myself uh, opening up more to God, mm -hmm. trying to balance my soul more. Hmm. The older we get, the more spiritual we get. I've noticed that because hmm. I don't know, maybe we're trying to earned credit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, 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 um, I'm looking at you, your new baby, and that's pretty inspiring too, you know? Mm. So I don't know, we'll play. Uh, you think you'd ever get married again? I, 
need to get divorced first. No. And I Catholic. So I've been separated going out over four years. No. I haven't seen my wife in over four years. Well, I seen her one day. Did you have to go back to America? One day, yet? I seen actually one yeah. day. I seen her one day uh, three years ago. I seen her one day. Hmm. She came to the house one day. Uh, she came to the house one day, stayed the night, nothing happened. Yeah. Uh, it stayed the night, uh, got her things, left. What do you think? Uh, do you, would you have to say go, goodbye? Would you have to go back to America to, to get a divorce, or could you do it from online or with a lawyer? Or? Sure. Does, does she it. want to get divorced? I don't know. I haven't asked her. She hasn't mm. asked me. Mm. I uh, haven't been motivated to ask her. I yeah. don't, no, I'm Catholic. Yeah. So that's that's a back in my head, you know. Mm. And I'm trying to get more yeah, spiritual. Yeah. That stays in my head. But I thought about it. Mm. No, there's no reason really if you don't, don't no, need I to. Try, I tried to reach out to her over and over again. Mm. Constantly, constantly mm. reach out to her. She doesn't want to go on Facebook. Yeah. So I email her over and over and over again. Mm. I um, I used to text her. She used to text me a little bit. And then it's been a year she stopped texting me. Mm. So I just assumed she... she uh, well, you know, I meet a lot of guys though, that are... somebody else, yeah, I, I meet a lot of guys that are estranged from their family you know sometimes it's their children sometimes it's their their ex-wife you know and other members of their family and um that's why they come here and they kind of okay. yeah no, she's you know she's a friend yeah not a wife yeah i can't love her that way no more mm. uh, but i love her. Like, i can never how can you well not i may hurt I, somebody yeah, I, that that's been so close to such a long yeah, time yeah. i couldn't do that and uh and, and I don't want to go about it to anything else, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's hard to have your emotions in two different countries, you know, especially when yeah. you can't go back to the other one and I, I everybody I, else has kind of moved on, you yeah. know. And people don't. don't yeah, I don't want to go into that either. Yeah. But uh, it's. I forgive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to. I you forgive. To you forgive. can't forget. No. But you can forgive. Yeah, you can forgive. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, Eddie, it's been great seeing you again, and uh, yeah. thank you so much for the interview. And uh, what's yeah. the name of your YouTube channel? Oh, gosh. Guys, it's... Hold on. You don't have it memorized? Hold on. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I get to mention. No, I don't. Huh. No, I wanted to put it in. Huh. It's Kiki in the Philippines. And by the way, for all you Filipinos out there, yeah. okay? Let me turn this off. Okay. For all you Filipinos out there, hmm. the reason why it's Kiki... It's not a pun on words. It's not to be a pervert. Mm. It's not to be something stupid. Mm. But all my life, like I said earlier in the, in the, in the interview, mm. my mother would yell out the window, Kiki Tony! Mm. My brother's name is Anthony. Mm -hmm. My name is Enrique. Mm -hmm. And Enrique here is Ricky. Ricky there stands for Ricardo. Mm. There it's Kiki or Kike. Mm, yeah. Mine was Kiki. I came here to let my family know, hey, it's Kiki yeah. in the Philippines. Right, anyway, right. for I did about 29 videos mm. <laughs> because I listened to all the new tricks yeah. that I should have. Uh, and by the way, I'm sorry for calling them in my first video, old man new tricks, but mm. I, I, it's yeah. old dog new tricks. And in P in the Philippines, I will call her. Uh, the, I will call her uh, uh, P in the Philippines instead of the Filipino P. Yeah. Okay? I will make that mistake all the time. Let's get that straight. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I I I would um uh, my okay yeah I, <laughs> for 29 videos I would come out with that and I didn't know what it meant and finally I, I did a, a series called the businesses of the boulevard mm -hmm. and I talked to a, a couple that. Uh, I talked to a couple there, and, and they asked me, so what's your YouTube channel? I go, Kiki in the Philippines. And she kind of looked at me, looked at her husband, smiled, and then when I talked to her husband, he goes, excuse me, why Kiki? Mm. <laughs> I go, it's Kiki in the Philippines. Uh, it's my name. Oh, do you know what it stands for here? I go, no. He goes, it's a part of the body. I go, what part? A woman's part. 
I go, vagina? Oh, no. And she goes, she slaps my hand, oh. yes! <laughs> I go, oh shit. So, guys, I'm nothing but a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> You might want to that's change. You might want to change that. No, it's my name. <laughs> that's it. My yeah. name. It's it's. At least spell it differently it? or something. Huh? It, it's it's you know it's my name. Mm -hmm. It's you know it's who I am. Okay. It's who I am. It's my. Uh, nice going back to Cuba, I, right? I, I, I yeah, yeah. I, I I I own it. It's not yeah. just Cuba. Everybody. Yeah. Anybody who's Enrique. Yeah. It's either Kiki or Kike. Okay, I didn't you know, know that. But Kike, Kike, in is spelled K I. K E. Yeah. Kiki's K I K I. Okay. And in the United States, when I, you know, I, I said, I said, listen, I'm no longer a young kid. He's like, when you call me Kiki, like Uncle, like Uncle yeah. Enrique. And he goes, he goes, no, Kiki. You don't want to be called Kiki here. Mm -hmm. Kiki. He goes, why? It's spelled K I K E. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a, defam a defamatory word for the Jewish yeah. man. Yeah. Okay. So. So okay. I said, oh, I don't want to go there, so yeah. I'm Kiki. All right. All right, All right, well, thanks again. You know, I hope to see you right, around guys. soon, and best Kiki of luck. Kiki in the Philippines. Yeah. We'll Please check. watch, okay? Okay, well, okay. thanks for watching, everybody. Okay. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.